Hey y'all, Plastic Commander here. And today we're gonna be trying something just a little bit different. So if you know me, you know that I love change. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about the US Modern Forces made by Armies and Plastic. These are very cool sets. There's six sets and three different colors. And they're really cool and I really like these figures, but the way we're gonna talk about them is gonna be just a teensy bit different. So first we're gonna talk about the durability. So the quality of the figures, the quality of the plastic, the detailing, stuff like that. In the second part, we're gonna talk about the functionality of the figures. So what I mean by functionality is that uh, how many different functions the set serves. So for example, the Tinny figures have like the Mortar Guy, the Minesweeper, the Bazooka Guy, and I'm gonna make a lot of comparisons to Tinny in this video, uh, and, because that's the most functional set in my opinion. You got a lot of different guys there. Uh, so we're gonna see how many different functions the set serves for playability, war gaming, you know, stuff like that. And thirdly, we're going to be talking about the value. So whether I think these figures are worth the price that they are or not worth the price or if they're even a good deal because sometimes you get a really good deal. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So today, guys, we're going to be looking at the Modern Forces U.S. Soldiers from Armies in Plastic. So, this is a really great two sets, and yes, this is broken up between two different sets, and they sell them in three different colors. We got the Olive Drab color, so just like the Timmy Classic Army Men. We got Grizzly Gray. I don't think it's called that. I just made that up. And we got Sandman Tan which is now what I am going to call my Tan Toy Army Men. So, these guys are really cool. Uh, this is six sets, and each set has 16 figures, and each set has six different poses. So, definitely, when you get these, get these just all together. Uh, if you're going for one color, get both sets, because they're definitely complementary of each other. So, very, very cool. We got a lot of really cool figures right here. The plastic and the quality of the figures is very, very nice too. That very high, high quality Arby's and plastic, plastic, should have guessed it. And the detailing is spectacular too. In some places, it's kind of awkward. Um, Nothing on this guy. This guy's perfect. I absolutely love the way he's sitting. I love his helmet, his face, just very good quality. And this guy right here, what I'm talking about is it kind of like just meshes all together right there. Got a little bit of dirt because these are the ones I was taking photos with earlier. So really cool other than that bit right there, but that's normal for army men. Like that's not a big deal. Most army men usually like the plastic just kind of molds together so copyright 2010 arby's and plastic made in china so we got lots of detail ammo pouches med packs on the guys we got canteens on them and yeah this is a great series these pair very well with the sunny days entertainment modern forces as well um so definitely if you want to put those two together I really, really am enjoying these two sets, and it's way too long. It took way too long before I bought these. Uh, I had been wanting to for a while, I just kept forgetting and putting it off, and then finally, when I got those Armies and Plastic mix figures, uh, I got a couple of the tan ones, specifically tan, and I was just like, wow, I really love these, so really cool. The detail and the quality, like I've been saying, is really very nice. Some of these guys got WMDs, and the way they advertise these, they advertise different operations. So, like, I believe the gray ones are Iraqi Freedom, is what they're trying to say. And the tan ones are uh, the war in Afghanistan. I'm not sure about the green ones. Like, I think they call the, peace, uh, the green ones peacekeepers. So, look at this guy. This guy even has a water back, a camel back right here. That's really cool. You don't really see that on army men you don't really see them have camel bags so very very nice quality definitely for me i would say it's a 10 out of 10 
despite the some minor issues, the quality and the build is very nice, especially for the price, which we'll talk about later. When it comes to functionality in figures, I always cite Timmy because Timmy, you got so many different figures. You got Rifleman, you got like two kinds of Rifleman, the laying down guy and the crouching guy like this. Uh, you got a heavy machine gunner with the guy with the stoner machine gun. You got minesweepers, you got a sergeant, you got a guy, well, originally you had a guy throwing a grenade. You got a guy raising his rifle above his head. And what I love about a lot of those figures is that they're multi-purpose. Like, for example, you got this guy right here. And this guy, he could be a sergeant. He has his binoculars. That's typically what he's called, the sergeant. In Toy Story, this guy's definitely the sarge. Like, he could just be, like, a guard. He could be all sorts of different stuff. Like, you also got this guy right here. Which, this guy used to be a grenade thrower. But if you know the story, they replaced the grenade with an open palm. But this guy, he could be getting shot. He could be laying down dead. He could be, what I like to do, is I slide his arm right here, guy carrying his wounded buddies. So, a lot of functionality there. And on top of that, you got this guy right here in the Timmy set, the melee guys, who's doing a little bit of uh, ba -ba -ba, stabby stab, ba -ba 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 -bum. bam, you just got stabbed. But also, put him in the water, looks like he's carrying his rifle above the water. And also lay him down. He could also look like a dead trooper holding his rifle like that. So you get a lot of functionality from the figures and we got the guy crawling. This is where armies and plastic kind of lacks just a little bit. So if you look at these figures, you'll notice primarily they're all riflemen, right? We got an M16 RM4. I really can't tell the difference, although it looks to be like an M16. Like if you're a little bit savvier with weaponry, let me know. Like to me, I can't really tell if that's like a newer M16 or one of the OG M4s. But mostly we got riflemen with this rifle, which is really cool. In fact, some of them even have grenade launchers. So we do get a little bit of explosive action with these. And we do have a machine gunner. One, well, technically two, although he's kind of more in a waiting to attack mode. This guy right here could easily be firing onto the enemy. He's got an LMG. But other than that, that's it. We don't really got a guy with a bazooka. We don't really got any kind of explosives. No no radio operator. Which, uh, armies and plastics, that's one of the things they kind of fall with. Um, is that most of their figures, they mostly just do riflemen. Really basic riflemen. And there's really nothing wrong with that. These are still outstanding figures. But it would be nice to have a little bit more variety and functionality, as I'm saying. So, one thing I would like to see them do is if you go on Armies and Plastics website, you'll notice they sell a lot of sets that are, um, I just can't think today. They sell a lot of sets that are like cannons or machine guns, like Civil War Napoleonic cannons, and they come with a load crew, which is really cool. They're unique figures that are loading and manning and operating the cannons and stuff. And machine guns, heavy machine guns, like a Gatling gun or a... Uh, the one the Fritsch had that was really cool that starts with an M that I cannot think of. I would really like to see them do something like this. Maybe like a mortar team that go as a companion with this set. That would be awesome. In fact, in the adjacent set to this, the Taliban set, you actually do get a guy with an RPG. So maybe a guy with like a Stinger missile or something. That would be really dope. Uh, so, as far as functionality is concerned, not a lot of it here. Uh, these are great companions, though, with your other modern figures. Like I said, the Sunny Days Entertainment figures, these would go well with. So, those guys, they do have bazookas and mortars and stuff. So, if you want to pair them with that, if you're a kid or a war gamer, even, I would definitely recommend doing that. And finally, let's talk about the value. So, each set was $9.95. I bought six of them, because like I said earlier, uh, each color comes in two sets, six different poses each for 12 pose poses per each color. 
uh, and you get 16 in the bag. Yes, it's 16 for $9.95. They're on sale on the website right now. Always buy directly from the Arby's and Plastic website. So definitely, that's a really good deal. I'm not gonna lie, I think that's a really good deal for the quality of these figures, even for just 16 of them, because these really aren't that far off. Uh, they're only like a standard deviation or two from per se, Toy Soldiers of San Diego. Now, I'm not trying to say they're right there, same of the same. Toy Soldiers of San Diego are super detailed, high quality. I wouldn't even buy those for children, to be honest. They're made for gross neckbeards like me, who own a bunch of Toy Army men. But still, when you're looking at the detail, and especially the quality and durability of the plastic, like, it really, it's about the same kind of PVC plastic you see in Timmy figures. It's really nice. So for $10, roughly, plus shipping, which if you buy all these together at $60, the shipping will be free. So definitely, if you go, go spend over $50, that's my recommendation. Definitely worth it. Definitely, definitely worth it. Uh, these are a great value. They used to be twelve, like twelve ninety five, but the price has gone down. Which, if you know anything about inflation right now, is kind of a rarity. We really don't um, see prices on stuff going down. But nine ninety five is a great, great price for these figures. In fact, most of their sets online currently are nine ninety five. So definitely go and not only get these, maybe pick up some World War One sets. They got all sorts of different, they have a real big variety of different figures. So the U.S. Modern Forces, I'm in love with this set, to be honest. This is probably my favorite Arby's and Plastic set, uh, just because I like more modern stuff like World War II. And Arby's and Plastic, as I've said before, famously doesn't do World War II stuff. They might in the future. Uh, I could definitely see them making a buttload of money if they did uh, World War II stuff. They do do World War I, so that's really cool. But yeah, Arby's in plastic, U.S. Modern Infantry, definitely go pick up some of these. They may not be the most functional and not the biggest variety as far as different like kinds of figures. You mostly just get riflemen. But for the value and the quality that they are, they are definitely worth it. And I really am in love with this set. Imagine invading a country for oil and then that oil gets used to make tiny little versions of yourself from when you were invading a country for said oil. Just some food for thought. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and also make sure to go check out the Discord. If you are on the Discord, which is the link for that is in the description of the channel, uh, then you know that we're doing a Q&A at 1500 subscribers. So ask questions on all of my videos, ask them over on the Discord. There's a channel specifically for asking questions. So if you guys got anything you wanna ask me, do it over there, even on this video, if you wanna ask them here. And I'm gonna be doing a 1500 sub special where I answer a lot of those questions. So thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you guys for liking and subscribing. I recently got monetized, which is a big deal. Uh, I'm not making, you know, ridiculous money at all, uh, but still, it's really cool because I don't know anyone in my personal life who is monetized. So thank you guys for all of your support over the last six months. This channel has really gotten a lot bigger than I thought it ever could. I really did it just as a meme because I thought it would be funny because I'm kind of a human crap post. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all your support. And as always, I'm the Plastic Commander. Bye. Mission accomplished. Well done, man. Pack it up. We're going home.